Good morning! Today is Saturday and it is one of the last Saturdays we have here in London. We are going to Portobello Market and I want to take you with me to this market because I'm going to be hanging out with my friends and it's just super fun. Let's get to it. I am wearing this Brandy Melville sweater. I got this the other day and I can't stop wearing it. You know when you get something like a new sweater, a new sweatshirt, you just like want to wear it all the time? Um, that's me right now. I have no remorse. I don't feel guilty about it at all. I'm going to wear it because I feel like I want to wear it, but um, I promise I wash it. So it's not like I'm like wearing it for two weeks and not giving it a wash. But this is what the outfit's going to be today. I did braid my hair. I'm actually honestly surprised. I haven't braided my hair in a little bit. I think it turned out actually pretty decent. We haven't gotten pictures in this sweater yet. So we are definitely going to do a content day. I'm going to get some pictures in this sweater because I love it so much. It's so blue and the stripes are so cute. With this sweater, I am also wearing my cream colored Zara jeans. This is very important. I don't know how I haven't said it yet, but last night, a couple girlfriends and I, we went to Taylor Swift club night. It was with the Swifto Gadon. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Amazing. Top 10 nights here in London, I'll have to say. Oh my goodness, I don't even know how to describe it. It was literally, all we did was listen to Taylor Swift all night. It was a packed crowd and just think club, like a club, like a huge rave, but all they're playing is Taylor Swift songs. <laughs> amazing we met so many cool people so many new friends and we had the time of our life It started at 9 p.m. at night and it ended at 2 a.m. Five hours of Taylor Swift music. I don't know if many people could do that, but you, I think you have to be a real Swifty to be able to do five hours of just Taylor Swift music. I know my friends are probably watching this and laughing at me. They know me and I love Taylor Swift music. I think her lyrics are genius and she really knows how to portray emotion more than anyone I've ever listened to. She knows how to tell a story and it's a good funnel for emotions and feelings because sometimes you don't have words for it. You don't really know what you're writing down in your journal or what it means, but I feel like she has a way of explaining things like you can't really explain. It's like feeling she's trying to explain and she does it very geniusly. So that is why I love Taylor Swift. That is a whole other story. But I was sending so many videos to my little sister because she loves Taylor Swift too. And her best friend in California, Brooke. So hi Madeline and Brooke, I love y'all. But I was sending them videos so they were like, oh my gosh, I love this. It's so amazing. I can't believe you got to scream Dear John with all these people. Like. It was super fun. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking about that. I am about to meet up with my friends. We are going to Portobello Market and I'm going to take you with me. So it should be a really fun day. Slow down for a minute. Sydney and I cannot get over last night. It was so good. It's so fun. Tim surprised like, me on voices. I know. It's, it's kind of raspy. Yeah. I have a little bit of a raspy voice. A little bit of tiredness. A lot of bit of a... 
helmet. Yeah, look at that. Let's get those pants. Used, are you going to get out of it? Or are you just going to wear it for Paris? Probably just for Paris. <laughs> Do you think I can find something better? It smells good. So I never napping and then we're meeting back up so we can go pubbing tonight I actually got some really cool pieces in Portobello Market today first of all I got this jacket so cute it's like an old designer but this is what it looks like I think I showed you so key you I cannot wait to wear it it is so adorable I really just think I'm gonna be able to pair it really well so got that and then I found first edition Harry Potter books. They are the coolest books ever. I mean, I can't stop smiling. I can't believe I found these books. Let me see if I can show you what they look like. These are so cool. This is the Harry Potter Deathly Hallows first edition. So cool. Like you cannot tell me that is insane that I found these. Amazing. Oh, 35. Okay, I was wrong. It wasn't 45. It was 35. Together, it was 45. That's look. And then right here, first edition. This is the England one, so it's not the US, but it's so cool. Amazing. So I have this one, Deathly Hallows. And then one of my favorite books. I had to say, The Half Blood Prince is actually 
one of my top books because I think the storyline, it really connects there and there's a lot of plot twists and just some plot development that happens in that book, which I really enjoy. Um, the whole Draco, Dumbledore, that whole entire thing, but I'm such a nerd. Anyways, this is the Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire first edition paperback. Like that is insane. I got this for 10 pounds. It was his last one. He went and tried to find it for me because he was talking about it. He's like, let me try to see if I can find it. And he found it. He came back from the back after like 20 minutes of looking. He was like, I can't believe I found this. Like here it is, let me show you. So see, it says one. Yep, first edition right there. Amazing day. I'm gonna take a picture actually. I'm sending it to one of my family friends in California, Beth. She is going to love this. She's my little reader who got me into reading them. So anyways, we had a beautiful day in Portobello Market in Notting Hill. Got those books, got this beautiful piece of a jacket. I can't wait to wear this, I'm so excited. See y'all soon.